Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here and I'm here to do another review on chapter 15 of the Ajin Demi Human manga entitled Fighter. So in this chapter we finally get the introduction of all of the Ajins who are planning to go and meet up with Sato so they can see what Sato will do for Ajin rights because right now they are in hiding from the Japanese government since they can't really go outside and reveal that they are Ajin since they will just be captured and being experimented on because they all see the videos they all see the invisible black matter so the Ajis know that those videos are real so they are terrified to be captured by the, the Japanese government so they just stay in hiding until this whole news thing with Sato came up and they found out that that was real so they went to the fake meeting place and was told by Sato's IBM where the real meeting place was which is where this place is in this chapter it's this abandoned building where it could be still in construction or it could just be abandoned, who knows, whatever. Like This place is meant to be the meeting spot for the Ajin, so yes. Of course, we. this is our first time, like, yeah, this is our first time clearly seeing Konakano, Masumi Okoyama, two other unnamed Ajins, and yeah, again, Takahashi and Reiji Akiyama, yes, they are all there, all of them, and yeah, they're all just waiting patiently outside, just wondering when is Sato gonna show up so they can just bring him inside, tell them what to do, because they don't know what to do, just stand there. And then, yes, Sato's IBM comes up and claps his hand and says, Alright, so you're all the Ajins here, right? Alright, come follow me, I'll show you where to go. Of course, then they all walk up the stairs, and then Reiji sees Ko for the first time and says, Hey kid, you know, this isn't a place for someone like you, this is a place for a kid. He shouldn't be here, you know, like, well, of course, Ko, he's very interested to see what Sato has to say. Right now, Ko is about 17 years old, so, yes, he is rather young, but he's still, he's still an Aji himself, so he still wants to see what Sato has to say about Aji rights. Maybe he can help out with what he needs to do with him, but, yeah, later on, of course, yeah, and also, it's revealed right here that Reiji Akuyama is a fireman, that's who, because Ko asks, like, who are you, sir? I'm just a fireman, it doesn't matter. Like, of course, then they just go in and immediately they're, they're all just standing in a room where Sato introduced himself like, Hello, you've all seen me on the news, right? I'm Sato and, well, first of all, this might be the first time any of you have seen so many Ajins in one place, right? I mean, just look around you. Ajins everywhere. Of course, one of the, one, the Ajin with the glasses says, um, yes, I'm... I'm, I'm, right now, I'm not really a partner of you. I just want to know what you're gonna do for Ajin, right? Like, what are you gonna do for us to to ha allow us to just be in the in the community without being prejudiced by the other humans? So, yeah, because yeah, cause the Ajins they really aren't that different from other humans. It's just that they're immortal. They can summon IBMs, and I, IBMs are just you know the black ghosts, whatever you want to call them, and that they can also emit a perilous scream whenever they want to. Just this could be easily blocked by just earplugs, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, but... If you have earplugs, then too bad for you, I guess, but there are other merits to how you can just be immune to this, but well, yeah, I'll just talk about that later on, or whatever. Of course, yeah, we see Gan, because yeah, Gan is there, he wants to know more about Aji as well, Takahashi too, they're all interested, and... Sato says, eh, well, it's probably something that you, know, you really don't expect, but... Yeah, we're gonna perform a ma massacre. Yep, massacre is what we're gonna do. We're gonna perform a huge genocide all over the place, all over Japan. And all the other genes are like, uh, what? Are you serious? That's not gonna work yet, because even Takashi's like, what? Seriously, dude, there's only like, freaking, like, what, 10 of us here? How are we gonna perform in a freaking massacre? We're, we're gonna lose that, obviously. Yeah, I get we're immortal, we got IBMs, but, well, at least, at least some of us have IBMs, but. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough to perform a massacre all over Japan. That's I don't think that's gonna work because, yeah, of course, Sato says, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to try it. I mean, I'm not gonna freaking back down just because much he was want to just prejudice us. I mean, well, first of all, Reiji he says how, all right, look, man, there's no way I'm gonna let you do that, and there's no, there's no way I'm gonna be part of any of that too. I'm gonna try to stop you as best I can, of course. Yeah, Reiji, he's a fireman. He's the type of guy who wants to save people, of course, not to endanger them. So, but Sato, he, deep down, he knew that not all of them would agree with him. I mean, obviously, not all of them would. So, yes, he is definitely going to 
well, well for one he's gonna capture all the odds he's not, he's not gonna let them go I mean yeah he says all right you're free to go the ones who want to oppose me but no Tanaka was in this air event because Sato knew yeah he planned ahead that some Ajis will definitely want to oppose them so Tanaka is in the air event with this tranquilizer gun and yeah yeah somehow Nakano sees this so yeah Nakano then just kicks Reiji right in his knee right down here which makes Reiji fall to the ground which saves him from being tranquilized by Tanaka in the air event so yes and then Reiji he just he just grabs Cole and just rushes out of there through the door and yes he Reiji then ends up leaving still the other two audience there as well not Takahashi again or Okuyama yeah they just want to team up with Sato mostly because Okuyama thinks it's the most smartest the most smartest move to team up with Sato since he's got he, he know he he thought he kind of knows that Sato will definitely be have the advantage because he's so he's such a badass guy and he's got his IBM immortality he's not afraid of anything and he's really he's also a yeah Sato is also a former marine as well he was in the marines and yeah Sato so yeah Okuyama he I'm pretty sure yeah he chose the right path but later on in the manga he kind of just stayed step aside from Sato but yeah we'll get that once we get that eventually in the manga if you're all following my videos that is yeah so yeah yeah Reiji and Nakano just run out of there just they just of course Reiji before in the manga and before in the chapter says how yeah the, the way the infrastructure of this building is just works it's going to be very difficult for us to escape out of here but I'll have to go through some stuff first like it's like a lot of hallways we have to go through of course and, and the stairs as well yeah Sadaka they, they might be able to catch Reiji and Koba luckily they do manage to escape however Tanaka while sh while fi while he was firing some of his tranquilizer darts or whatever at Reiji, he he accidentally shot Sato right here in his gut. Of course, that's that means how Tanaka is still a bad shot. He, he yeah, he does get better at shooting. He, he kind of has to. I mean, if if he get if he if he sucks like, if he keeps on sh sucking at shooting, he's gonna be useless to Sato. Sato will really he won't really want him anymore. So yeah, luckily Okuy Okuyama is there. He can teach Sato. So, so, sorry. He could teach Tanaka how to shoot better with his gun, so yeah. Okuyama, he's really he's really good at that technical stuff, really good at machines, computers, so he could definitely help Tanaka out. He says something like how the barrel of his gun is crooked a bit and the gas the gas needs a little bit a little facet within it. Yeah. The gas needs to be a little tweaked up so it could be more help, help Tanaka aim a little bit more, so yeah, you did that to help him out, but still Tanaka kinda missed I me. Mean, yeah, Tanaka definitely needs more practice with his guns. It, this is kind of a running gag well, with Tanaka always missing his shots every single time. Kind of, I mean, it doesn't really cost him much since he is immortal. He, even, even if he misses, he can still die, come back. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, and Ko and Reiji, they run from Tanaka and Takashi again, the others. Not Okuyama. Okuyama has a, has a weak right leg, so he can't run. But he is good with machines, like I just said, so he is useful in that sense. Yeah, and also, you see, Reiji and Ko, they had to, first of all, Ko, he had to jump off of this, this really, of this window first. Well, it's not really a window, just this passageway that leads outside. That's like freaking 20 stories out of the ground that like, Ko has to jump out. But Ko is an Ajin. He can definitely survive that. However, he is, I don't know, he states that he's afraid of heights, but whatever, he just doesn't, he's just a little scared. He doesn't want to jump off because he kind of make, makes him cringe. Like, ah, I gotta jump off of that seriously. Damn. Yeah, well, Ko has to jump out because Reiji even says out, look, if these if these Ajis make it out, they can do many terrorisms that no other terrorists would probably even do, like, like drive a truck into a building without even caring about their own injuries because they're Ajis. They could just reset and just keep on keep on doing what they're doing. They can even they can be kamikaze attack a building, which they do end up doing later on in the manga. So yeah, Reiji is just a little. He he knows what's gonna happen, what Sato's gonna do. So yeah, he knows definitely. However, Ray, this is gonna be the last time we see Reiji because he's gonna be stuffed inside of a barrel. But we yeah, well not the last time because we do see him, but it's, it takes a lot of chapters later on until we see him again, his reappearance. But yeah, yeah, this is gonna be the last time we see Reiji for a while. Reiji, sorry, Reiji for a while. Yeah, but we do see Reiji's IBM. It's we see in action so yeah his idea has like spikes all over its head it's kind of it's kind of basic but just like i said spikes yeah ko he doesn't have his ibm it doesn't train with it very much he doesn't he can't even summon it but 
Yeah, it's also revealed here that Reiji, he has a family, a wife and a daughter, and he wants to protect them, which is why he doesn't want the, he doesn't want Sato and the other Ajis working for him to escape and just do their terrorism because, yeah, he doesn't want that to happen. He just wants to protect his family and, uh, and other innocent people as well. So, yeah, he definitely wants Ko to at least escape because Reiji won't be able to escape. Reiji has to hold off Tanaka all by himself with just his IBM, but he does end up getting overpowered since, I mean, T Takahashi was there as well. He has his IBM. And yeah, also Gen, yeah, he, Takahashi's brother is human. Gen is human. He can't, he can't perform his IBM. So he, he doesn't have any immortality. He just got, he's just really lucky until just a few chapters until, yeah, stuff happened with him. Yeah. Well, not a few chapters, just like a lot of chapters later on in the manga where he kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. Just keep on watching my videos. You'll see what happens to Gen. However, yes, um, Ko Nakano, he ends up escaping and running away. I mean, Tanaka just says, they had a kiss fast. Like, look at him, look at him go. <laughs> they had, like, yeah, and then Reiji is on the ground and was defeated by Tanaka because he's too strong. Yeah, Reiji, I don't know, maybe he doesn't train with his IBM much, but I mean, you'd think he would use it a lot during his fireman duties. Uh, however, Reiji is on the ground just said to Tanaka, Tanaka, are you sure you want to do this, cause all this terrorism all around Japan? I mean, if you do this, the public is just, is just going to hate Ajins a hundred times more, or a hundred million times more. Look, I'm just saying, the public will just be all for to hunt down Ajins. You're just going to make our situation a lot worse than it already is. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be experimenting on, but it's gonna, probably going to be much worse. We're probably going to be killed over and over again, probably tortured. Probably, probably just be sent to the moon. Yeah, that's one thing too. They're probably going to be sent onto a rocket all the way to the moon because they can't be killed. So, but at least you can send them to the moon. They can keep on dying over and over again due to lack of oxygen. So, yeah, they can even do that kind of stuff with them. That'd be terrifying to an Ajin. So yeah, I mean, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Reiji stays there. He gets put in, into a barrel because yeah, Reiji does. Reiji does try to convince Tanaka not to cause all this terrorism because it will, it will just make. It'll just make the whole situation for Aji so much worse, so it's not even worth it to begin with, but Tanaka, he, he does kind of remember what Reiji says, but he still has to lock him, up, lock him up in a barrel, just like the other two unnamed Ajins that we've seen in this chapter as well, and just, you know, just forget about them, just leave them there in a the barrel for now, and yeah, just leave them there, and that's all, really. Let's see, uh, yes, and we, yeah, we, we see Ko Nakano just running running away and eventually he does meet up with K and Nagai but not in this chapter right now. We do see Nagai in the last chat in the last part of the chapter where he's where he's talking to this woman named Miss Yamanaka, which we'll see more in the next chapter I believe. She gives she gives for yeah for some reason she gives K this I don't know this this type of Japanese cuisine soup or something like that. Yeah he says Itada kima, yeah, itada kimasu is what K says. It's, it's kind of like the Japanese equivalent to bon appetit. It's something you, say, it's something Japanese people say before they eat. It's so, so they say they just, it's just so they can show respect to the person's meal before they eat it. Of course, so K wants to do so he can stay there for as long as he can because he wants, to, he wants the woman to think he's a nice person. Now he's a freaking dangerous Ajin that people think he believe he is in the news. So yeah, right now K is happy. He's in a very peaceful place, away from all the Ajin hunters who want to go and get him. Yeah, so right now he's in a safe place, and that's all that matters for K right now. He just wants to be safe. And yeah, that's the end of the review for this chapter, everybody. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter and comment down in the comment section below, all the good stuff. And yeah, that's it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and bye.